Good evening, everyone, and welcome to this Wednesday edition of Lehigh Valley Sports Scene. I'm Gwen Begley joining you for tonight's show. There was a lot of really great volleyball matches taking place Tuesday night. The Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs returned home to Coca-Cola Park. We will take a look back at that a little later on in the show. But first, we're going to highlight the night it was in boys volleyball, starting with a matchup between two of the top teams in the district in Parkland and Whitehall. Always a good one anytime these two get together. The Zeps winners of their last four while the Trojans have yet to drop a game in league play and in those five victories they've only dropped a total of three sets both squads recently meeting in the Bobcat Invitational where Parkland came away winning the best of three against Whitehall with more from a five set thriller at Parkland High School here's Cassie Schmidt both Whitehall and Parkland coming off strong performances in the Bobcat Invitational over the weekend. Trojans with the better showing but falling short in the championship bracket to Exeter. Back in District 11 play though last night hoping to end a four match win streak for the Zeps. It was the visitors however looking for some redemption after Jack Cucker would tie things up at one. Whitehall hung on to that advantage for the entirety of this opening set. The ace from Eric Zuniga gives Whitehall a four-point lead. Owen Rogers was able to trim that deficit to just one, but the Zeps hang on for the 26-24 set one victory. We'd go back and forth all night long as Parkland responds in set two. After going in front at 4-3 by way of the Alex will be kill from the near side, the Trojans pushed its advantage to as much as eight. While the Zeps did make a valiant comeback, it's Josh Nation that finishes him off with a kill and then the ace taking the second 25-20. Cole Richards was massive for the Zephyr squad on Tuesday. Five of his 10 kills coming in set three. A dominant a set as they come. Whitehall crushes Parkland in the third, taking it 25-11 to go up two sets to one. But as they did in set two, once again, the home team musters a response. Wilby's kill breaking the 12-12 tie. The block then from Owen Rogers will give Parkland its largest lead at five. They force a fifth by taking set four, 25 to 19. Whitehall though came out red hot in this final set. Cucker with four of his team high, 17 kills on the night in the fifth. But it was Ethan Ringenberger sealing this one, scoring two from the outside. That before rattling off three straight aces to push the lead to six, up 12 to six. Cucker will then seal it with a kill and then a block to take the fifth set 15 to eight and the match three sets to two. We were just very proud of being uh, more consistent because there's a lot of times this year we haven't, haven't been very consistent. We're dropping sets of teams we shouldn't. And I just feel like we were really consistent today. We played with a great team. Yeah, we played with a team that won state, so we could really do anything. Everyone had a great performance. Um, you know, everyone, everyone thought I was just going to Jack, you know, but we had to mix it around. You know, Jack's a great player. Um, Cole's a great player. Mix it around. People put the ball down. It was, it was big. Winners of their last five, the Zeps got contributions everywhere in this one with four finishing in double digit kills. Believing it is that balance and trust in each other will ultimately take them a very long way. It, they're good players. Yeah, that's a good, that, that's a state ranked Parkland team. They're, they're, they're uh, an elite volleyball team. And, you know, I told those guys they're elite and so are we. And we have to start believing that. That's the important thing. On the scene at Parkland, I'm Cassie Schmidt for the SC Network. You heard Cassie mention four in double digits with Cucker leading the way with 17 kills plus his 15 digs. Ethan Ringenberger finished behind him with 14 kills, 11 digs, and four aces. Omar Tembo and Cole Richards were the other two who would add 10 kills apiece for Whitehall. The Zeps extend their win streak to five, improving to five and two with a match against Deerev tomorrow. Trojans also with a five and two overall mark now, but will look to bounce back from that five-set loss with its match against Easton on Thursday. 